Hi, my name is David Pearson and I'm going to show you how to build a saltwater aquarium. First thing you need to do is select the size of the fish tank that you can put in your room and you can afford in your budget. The bigger the tank, the more costly, the more stuff you need to buy. So right here we're looking at a 30 gallon tall tank. It's, a three, it's three feet long and it came with its own stand. Um, once the tank was in position, we added some live sand on the bottom. That's the white sand that you're looking at at the very bottom of the tank. The live sand uh, helps it cycle a little faster. It has its own biological filter. It helps eat up the ammonias and excess food and uh, things like that. The second thing I added was the, uh, was the live rocks. Uh, those are the rocks you see behind me. Um, you make sure that you, when you buy them from the pet store that they are cured already. Um, they range anywhere from $6.99 to $12.99 a pound. Uh, the next thing we added was the water. Uh, we, I made my own water. I used a, a salt mixture where you add one cup of dry, dry salt with two gallons of uh, distilled water. Try not to use tap water. You'd have to try to get the chlorine out with a, another product. Um, next of all, I added uh, the lighting on top. I chose to go with uh, two compact fluorescent light bulbs. They're 90 watts each. Uh, they're very uh, uh, power efficient and they put off enough light for me to be able to grow all the soft corals that you see in the tank now. I've got the white leather corals, the, the, the purple mushroom corals. Um, next of all, the last thing you want to do is you want to add your fish very slowly. Add one or two, let them get used to the tank, and let them get themselves established. Put your most fragile fish in first, that way they can get a foothold. Also, uh, the filter that I'm using is a wet dry filter that's located underneath the fish tank and um, it helps again with the biological filter and I underneath also have a protein skimmer that helps skim off some of the excess uneaten food and proteins that, to help it not pollute the tank. So that's how you build a saltwater aquarium.